Hey, it's Jesus Castillo from Ruby Guides, and in this video, you're going to learn how to create beautiful charts with Ruby. So let's do this. Okay, so how does this work? Well, it is a gem, um, some JavaScript library called Chart Quick or Chart Kick, and this is the website and you're going to learn how to use it. So I have a Rails example right here. This is a Ruby on Rails 6 application, Ruby on Rails 6, but it can also work with other versions of Ruby, okay? So this is a simple application they create with a scaffolding. So I have an article on a scaffolding if you're not familiar with that. And I added some data. And this is basically some example data I came up with. So you, we can see how this works. So what I want to do is I want to create a chart like this for my data so we can see some information. Okay, so how do we do that? Well, we, first we need to go to our gem file. Okay, and somewhere somewhere around here, we add the gem. So the gem is chart kick, right? And then we want to bundle. So we're going to download and install the gem. I already have it, so that's done. But make sure uh, it's you don't get any errors, right? If you get some kind of error, then you don't want to go to the next step until that works. Okay, so what's the next step? Well, we just follow the instructions step by step, right? So here we see what I just done. I installed the gem. Next, we want to run, the, run this for rail six. So these are rail six specific instructions, okay? So we're going to run this and this is going to install the JavaScript um, code that we need. Okay, so it's working and just wait until it ends and hopefully you don't get any error messages. Okay, again, if you get some error messages, then you have to read error, Google for it, ask, try to fix it before you move into the next step, which is again a real six specific step. We're going to open this file. If you're using Rails 5, then you follow the different instructions for that, which are here. So for real six, I'm going to go to this file. Okay, I'm using BI as my editor, but you can use anything else. I also like Atom, but for this kind of quick example, we can just use something simple, something quick. So I'm just going to copy and paste from the instructions. Make sure that you are copying everything because one little uh, mistake that you can make is maybe you forget copying this closing parenthesis and then you get an error, right? So make sure you copy everything and you want to be checking every step. You don't need to rush this, right? So there it is. Uh, make sure also that you are on the correct file, right? Now we're going to save. WQ is write and quit, right? And that's done. So that's the, we're done with the initial um, setup. Now using this is super, super easy, right? So there are different kinds of charts. We have line charts, like this line charts is where you see how data evolves over time, right? As you can see here in this example, then you have 
pie chart, which is, which is this thing right here, column chart, and bar chart, okay? So how do we actually, not that this is installed, we have for data, how do we actually add the chart? Well, we need a view, we need to edit our view. So the view that I want to edit here is the index, because this is the index page. So I'm going to find my index right here, okay? And uh, where do I want my chart? Well, I want it below the title, uh, above the table. So the title is an H1, and if you don't know that, there is a little trick you can do. You can right click, and then you go to here, and you can see H1, right? So now I go to my view file in here, right? And right here, I'm going to add an ERB tag and make sure it has the equal sign so it outputs, right? Mm, okay, so now what kind of chart do we want? Well, I think for this, I would like a bar chart. So let's do bar chart. And then the data, it has to look like a hash. So for example, something like this, A3, and B uh, nine C four something like that. So this is just an example, so you can see how this works. Okay, now if I reload, it's going to take a few seconds. Why? Because Rail Six uses something called Webpack, and this is going to um, compile your JavaScript files, right? And here we go, we have our chart. Uh, it represents this ra data right here, okay? So you can see um, B9, B9. So we can make this smaller. There are two ways to make this smaller. One, you can add a surrounding HTML element like this, okay? And we can do style width, and we give it whatever width we want. And this is going to make it smaller. There you go. So that's one way to do it. You can also do things like add labels, titles, change colors, there are a lot of options with Chartwick that you can use. Uh, options. Uh, there you go. So there are all of the options that you can use. But before we try some options, I want to show you something else. What about our data? What about our cats? <laughs> they want to be fit. I'm sure about that. But before we feed them, let's use the data for the cuts instead of this hard-coded hash. So I'm going to need an instance variable data. It doesn't have to be named data, but I'm going to use that for this particular example. And now I'm going to go to my cuts controller, okay? I'm going to set our data to cat um, group by color. Okay, let's say that we want to chart our color. So we know how many cats are for each color very quickly using the chart, right? So I also need to count them. So I group them by color, and then I count how many there are for each color. And this we produce a hash like the one we had before, right? 
In fact, you can see that if you open the Rails console, you can do cat group um, color. And this gives us that, this relation. And then if you count, there we go. That's your hash. And that's the, our data that we're going to be using for this chart, okay? So now I'm going to reload this and ta-da! <laughs> we can quickly see brown cats. We have four of them. In fact, chart quick, it's very nice because you can hover over the different pieces of information on the chart. We can see Brown four, white and black one. And we can also see these lines below and the names on the left, okay? So that's very nice. We have our chart uh, with very little work, right? So now let's do one of the options. So we can add a label. So we can know what this number means because now it uses 0, 1, 2, 2, comma, 5, 3. What are those numbers? Well, someone that just looks at this chart for the first time might be a little bit confused. So we can help with a label. And the kind of label that we want is this. X title and Y title. So I'm going to be using I'm going to be using X title because X, X is the numbers below and Y is the colors. So I'm going to open up my index. I'm going to pass in here the X. title which is going to be count okay so this is what we have now so you can see very little code so it's very easy to use as long as your data is formatted correctly and you, if you did the setup steps correctly okay so i'm going to save reload and you can see now that below we have this label that says count. So now we know that clearly that these numbers represent how many cats we have for each color, right? And uh, feel, feel free to play around with the other options. So you can use things like this rounding, um, Refresh message. This probably requires. Um, I don't know if this works out of the box. Maybe it does. I haven't tried it. But yeah, feel free to play around with it. That's how you learn. And try the different types of charts. So the only thing that you need to do to use a different kind of chart is change the name right here and now we have a column chart very easy right to change and you can also use a pie chart or line chart whatever you want to use and to you that you find more appropriate for the kind of data that you want to show and display on your website okay So that's it, that's how you do use the chart quick gem and JavaScript library to create charts and graphics for your Ruby on Rails applications. Thanks a lot for watching. If you like this video, please click the like button for me so I know that you like it as so more people can find the video and benefit from it. 
Also subscribe to the channel if you haven't yet, so you can get more videos like this. Thanks a lot for watching. I will see you in the next video.